Welcome back. Iowa's defense has already used four different combinations at linebacker this season in just five games. It's likely to be a fifth in six games this week at Indiana. Hawkeye headquarters reporter Adam Rosso tells us how the game against the Hoosiers is going to put up one of the Hawkeyes' favorite mantras on display. For the second time in as many weeks, the Hawkeyes' next man in philosophy will be put to the test. If we can get through all this, uh, you know, get guys back and all that and keep moving down the road a little bit in a positive direction, then hopefully we'll, maybe we're developing some depth here, quality depth as we go along, which would be really good. Jack Hockaday's knee injury and a first half suspension to Imani Jones has depleted Iowa's depth at middle linebacker. Junior Christian Welch will start in the middle. He says position coach Seth Wallace has prepared all the linebackers for exactly this type of situation. We're working almost all three positions, and it, it, you know it helps with your understanding of the defense, kind of structurally of how we how we work, and then being able to step in and you know when things when guys get hurt or you know we have some other problems happen. You don't have to look too far for proof that Iowa's next man in mentality actually works. Just look at last week in the win over Minnesota when true freshman Julius Brents and Riley Moss were effective at cornerback. We always talk about next man in, um, but you know, also too, then we go and back it up with the, with the quality and the amount of work that we put into. So both those guys did a great job of that last week. Now it's Welch and the linebackers' turn to repeat the cornerbacks' performance against a prolific Indiana offense on Saturday. It's challenging, um, but it's not something that the coaches would, wouldn't put us in there if they didn't think that we could do that. Um, and we have to have confidence in ourselves as well. So I'm excited to kind of step into the, you know, into the challenge. With all the moving parts, the defense will try and avoid giving up 28 points or more for the third straight game. That's something opponents haven't achieved against this program since 2001. Reporting from Iowa City, Adam Rosso for Hawkeye Headquarters. So they'll kick off at 11 a.m. on Saturday. That will air on ESPN2, of course. Indiana is no slouch this year. Their only losses coming to two top 25 teams. Iowa, of course, still hoping for some help to try and make that Big Ten championship, but they'll need to take care of business against the Hoosiers Saturday. Meanwhile,